Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And our live game is Wales against Belgium. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Peglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Tries a through ball. Ramsey. Bale. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Picked it up and here they come again. So what now? Ramsey. Ramsey has got himself a free kick. It's a good looking cross. Too much on that, it's gone out. Swings it out of harm's way. Fitzel! That is wayward. Well, there wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot, it was worth a try from there. De Bruyne. No goals as yet. Ledley going full steam ahead down the left flank. Alderweireld floats one over. He did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, such a good ball to get him through. Showed real vision and awareness then in trying to pick him out. Ramsey gets good distance on it. And it's Nyingolan. Allen, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Ashley Williams. Towards half-time, and it is still scoreless. De Bruyne. By England. Having that opening goal so close to half time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. Belgium take the lead. Look, we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. 
chipped through. There is the half-time whistle. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Belgium having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. goes and we start the second half Belgium area one goal lead into the second half danger averted for now well that's where he wants it and the defense can get it clear now the pass shoots for Marlon, comes forwards. De Bruyne he does have an assist to his name. De Bruyne, full tilt down the right-hand side. Benteke, saved only by poor finishing. Well, there's no messing about with this fella, is there? Just went straight down the middle. If only he could have applied the finish with the same conviction. Belgium ahead here by what is still the only goal. And it's Bale. Bale plays it out to the wing. It's a long forward pass. De Bruyne got into a good position down the right, just needs support to arrive. De Bruyne. Chance! De Bruyne! Taken with style, two up and threatening to pull clear. Wonderful stuff, and it was all about quick thinking and even quicker feet. But you have to ask questions as to how he got through. Belgium take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at one nil, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Belgium hit to make a change here. Benteke passes it through. Now it's Hazard. Hazard. Can he find a finish now? They are rampant. Surely now, beyond all doubt. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Belgium take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Substitution for Wales. Belgium are almost home and dry now. And he has been fouled there. Fellaini. Oh, he's not going to get that. Deftly done. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Looks like a good ball through. And through to the goalkeeper. And there goes the final whistle. Belgium enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very congested, lots of traffic going on, but it wasn't a problem for them.